Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adini Kebabalola and today we are going to be focusing on the IELTS writing task one academic. Okay, so this is the academic task one and we're going to use an example of um, a question on plans. Okay, so the idea is to look at maps and plans and what you have is many times you're asked to compare a, a place before and how it is now or the way that place looks right now with the way it will look later and after it has been redeveloped or renovated or something like that and um, you know the idea is you want to look at the question first of all and ask yourself what years am I dealing with let me read you this example this is um, I'm using Cambridge IELTS book 14 academic and this is page 94 tests you know task um, test 4 task 1 writing task 1 academic now, let me read you the question. The plans below show a public park when it first opened in 1920 and the same park today. Okay, so we're looking at two plans and then it's reflecting a public park. Okay, a park used by the entire populace in a particular location or something like that. When it first opened in 1920, that's, um, this is 2020, so that's 100 years ago, about 100 years ago and the same park today. So we're looking at the way a park was 100 years ago and the way it is right now, okay? Now, normally the question would always include summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Now, so I'm gonna explain how this works to you because we're going to look at an examiner's model answer. So you know how to answer IELTS writing academic task one maps or plans okay let me try to show you what we have so this is what it looks like I know it's not too clear but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we have on the page okay so that's about it now let me um, what we have this is page 94 if you do have the Cambridge IELTS academic book 14 this is page 94 it is test four and it is writing task one you know you have 20 minutes to write this you know report so how do you maximize the 20 minutes and still look at both plans see the differences and everything the first thing is you've established that you are dealing with a 1920 and a 2020 that's some you know the the space in between is 100 years so you're going to be using past tense for the 1920 and then you would use the present tense for 2020 the way it looks right now Okay, so you've established your tenses. You're using the past tense and the present tense. Now, when you have two maps or two plans, the idea is to put, you discuss the first plan or map in the first body paragraph, and then you discuss the second map or plan in the second body paragraph. Now, let me take you back to the IELTS writing task one structure. For the map or plan, the order is introduction first, body one next body two next overview last okay we know that well many people are used to overview coming second but after i took um the course with the british council um, educators on future learn earlier this year i realized that they prefer to have the overview for the map at the end because it's like hey okay this is everything i saw and this is the summary of it so you're putting your findings in summary in your overview, which would come last. So once again, it's introduction, body one, body two, overview. So your introduction is going to be a summary of your, is a paraphrase rather, of the question. Okay, so you have um, the plans illustrate the initial look of a public park in 1920 at its um, establishment or at its initial establishment and its current outlook okay or you know or how and, and how it looks like at present something like that well when we're writing we'll do it together but i just wanted to give you an idea of what your introduction would look like that's about it now if you look at this we actually have the name of the pack the pack is grand pack okay so when you're writing your introduction you want to tell us okay so the pack the plans illustrates the grange pack when it was initially established in 1920 and how it looks like at present, okay? So, um, well, in 1920, what I can see here, 1920, the park was named Grand Park, 
But today, in the second plan, it is called Grange Park. So the first thing you notice is a change in the name of the park. Okay, so that's it. Now, once you have established your tense and you know what your introduction would look like, let's, you know, at least look at the plans to see what we have in them. Looking at this, I can see a fountain in the center. I wish there was a way I could show you this. Let me see. Is this okay? It's not too good. No, no, no. It's not too good. But let me see what I can do. Okay. So, um, in here, there's a fountain. Okay. Yeah, you have a stage for musicians. Down here, you have a rose garden. You also have a rose garden up here. Another one on this side. This is the entrance in the middle. And here, also, you have another entrance. There's a glass house on this side. You have some seats around. And then there's a pond for water plants here. And another seat here. So that's what it looked like in 1920 when it was initially established. But what we can see here is all the rose gardens that were scattered about in the previous one have been brought together into the center of the park. Okay, and this stage for musicians has become an amphitheater for concerts. Now, the fountain at the middle, of course, has been displaced. Okay, so you just have the rose garden occupying its position and around it, all the seats that were scattered around before and now um, around the rose garden. The entrance, you know, the two entrances are still intact. You have the one up here and down here. Just say it like that for now. We're going to come back to the language of the maps of plants. Okay, so you have a cafe up here. It's occupied the position of one of the rose garden. Then the glass house has been replaced by a water feature down here. The pond for water plants has been replaced by a children's play area. And um, am I missing anything? That's about it. Okay, so I know that wasn't clear. I'm so sorry, but I just didn't want to talk without showing you what I was doing. I know it wasn't clear, but I just wanted you to have an idea of what you have here. What I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, I'll put a screenshot of um, this question, of this page, so that you can look at it and then, um, you know, get the idea in that sense. Now, I'm not going to be giving you my own explanation of this. I'm going to read you what an examiner wrote so that you can, this is like um, experiencing it the way it comes from the manufacturer or something like that. Of course. This is just an example, but it is an example of a very good answer. So if you turn your book to page 134, you would see what the examiner wrote. But let me make something clear. When you see a map, that's you see maps or plans in the IELTS writing academic tax one, what you want to do is look at the previous one. What things were there? Where, where were those things located? You know, and remember that it would always give you the cardinal points the north, the east, the south, and the west, okay? So you should always take note of them. Though in this case, it looks like we weren't given. Let me let me look at it again. Yes, you weren't given in this case, but in, in many of them, you actually have the cardinal points provided. And so you know that you can also have the northeast, the southwest, and the rest of them. So it's also important for you to be familiar with the cardinal points. Now, I'm going to read you the examiner's model, okay? Um, so this is it. Grange Park was opened in 1920, a rectangular area with access from Arnold Avenue on the north side and from Eldon Street on the south side. There was a fountain in the center with a stage for musicians situated center left, a glass house to the right of the Eldon Street entrance and a pond for water plants in the northeast corner opposite. Around the edges of the park, there were rose gardens with seats nearby for people to smell the flowers and listen to music. That's what you have in the first paragraph. Now in the next paragraph we have, the park has altered considerably since then. Now there is one large-ish rose garden occupying the central area where the fountain stood and with seats all around it. One of the smaller rose gardens remains on the north side of the park. The bandstand stage for musicians, in bracket, has also been replaced by an amphitheater for concerts and associated seating. 
The glass house has gone and in its place is a water feature. Similarly, where the pond for water plants stood, there is now a children's play area with a cafe ne nearby. Access to the park is still via the two original entrances, but there is now a third entrance near the water feature from an underground car park. So I've read you body one and body two. Now this is the overview at the base. Despite the apparently significant changes, the park retains the basic elements of flowers, water, sitting and music with the addition of a cafe and a children's play area. That's it. Okay, so yes, there's no introduction here. Well, um, that's why they say that this is just an example out of many. It's written there that there are several approaches. But we know from you know what we've learned that you should have your introduction paraphrased and then you should you know you go on to body one and body two did you notice that the examiner gave us the first plan in the first body paragraph describing what it is or what it was then okay was opened it says it was opened in 1920 it was a rectangular area with access from arnold avenue okay on the north side now let me go back to the page so we can look at it yeah so you have the, the north side is um this very top here okay so you have arnold avenue here then it says um and that's on the north side and from eldon street on the south side so you have this is the north this is the south okay so you have eldon street here you have the north you have arnold avenue up there now it says um, there was a fountain in the center. I showed you that. I'm so sorry about this lighting issue. I, I really wish there was something I could do to fix it, but I'll definitely get there. So this is the fountain. You can see that in the center. Then um, it says with a stage for musicians, it's weighted center left. Okay, so this is center left. You have a glass house to the right of the center. Am I getting it? Yeah, of Eldon Street. Okay, you have a glass house to the right of Eldon Street entrance and a pond for water in the northeast. Okay, so this is it here. Northeast corner opposite. Around the edges of the park, there were rose gardens. You have these rose gardens here. Okay, one, two, three. All right. Yeah. And um, with seats nearby, you can see the seats. One, two, three, four. There's one more year, five nearby for people to smell the flowers and listen to music. So that was what the examiner did in the first body paragraph. Okay. Now in the second body paragraph, the examiner starts by saying the pack has altered considerably since. Okay. I don't know if it's a bit better. Okay. It says now there is one large-ish rose garden. Yeah. Occupying the center area. This is the center area where you have the rose garden okay where the fountain stood and with seats all around it you can see the seats all around okay um yeah all around it uh something more one of the small rose gardens remains on the north side of the park you still have the yes you have one rose garden there okay um the bandstand that's a stage for stage for musicians which was this one has now become this so you have has been replaced by an amphitheater for concerts and associated seating. Okay, so um, the glass house is gone. You know, the glass house was here, but it's now here. Okay, and um, it's a, okay, in its place is a water feature. Similarly, where the pond for water plants stood, there is now a children's play area. So the pond for water plants was here, but it's now a children's play area on this side. Okay, and um, yes, okay, I think I'm trying to wrap up with a cafe nearby. Yeah, you can see the cafe on this side. Okay, access to the park is still via the two original entrances. You see at this entrance at the um, Arnold Avenue and the entrance at Eldon Street. So finally, but there is now a third entrance near the water feature from an underground car park. Yes. Can you see this? There's this underground car park on this side. Okay, so in conclusion, as you know your overview now, <laughs> it says, despite the apparently significant changes, 
The park retains the basic elements of flowers, water, sitting and music with the addition of a cafe and a children's play area. So I know it's not perfect, but I'm trying to show you what we have once again. And so, <laughs> sorry, it's quite hot here. So that's what this looks like, okay? I do want to just speak about the maps and plans without showing you something real. And this is what it looks like, okay? When you have maps or plans, your goal is to look at the previous plan. That's the first plan or map. What can you see there? Then when you go back to the second plan, it's now a case of what was there before, what has been replaced, what is there now, or what they intend to add. So you're looking for additions, replacements, um, new constructions, and the rest of them. That's the way the IELTS Writing Academic Task 1 map or plan works. So I hope that you've learned today. Um, once again, if you need um, if you need feedback for your writing, let's say you've been writing on your own and you really want somebody to you know take a look at it for you, please send me um, an email to adenikmbabalola at gmail.com. I'm going to add my email address to my description box. So please make sure you check it. So once you reach out to me, I'll be ready to help you. Um, assess your writing to see if there are things that need to be fixed or if you're ready to go <laughs> okay so um thank you once again for joining me today if you want to take the ielts mock test please visit takeieltest.net and um, of course you find the link in my description box and if you do need to improve your english please visit englishniger.com once again i am happy to share all this knowledge with you and i hope that it helps you with your ielts preparation take care Bye-bye.